So we're back with another little recipe video for you today and again it's a kind of pizza inspired recipe because let's face it I'm obsessed with pizza. Anything that's got the pizza flavour is good enough for me and this is a really cool little recipe that I discovered on a random blog about a year ago and I've been making it ever since and I've kind of adapted it to how I think it tastes the best. You could kind of adapt it to however you like but there's different variations of doing this. This is how I do it and it's really quick to do very very simple doesn't take any cooking skills really very good for you because it's just basically a lot of vegetables and a little bit of low-fat mozzarella cheese and it's great it's great because it fills you up it gives you that pizza craving without eating something that's laden with calories and bad things and it just really helps to control that pizza craving. I know in a couple of videos there were some people complaining saying you know pizza in Italy isn't junk food it's very serious and all that kind of thing. I know that. I know that Italians take pizza very very seriously but these are just kind of variations of pizza and just ways to cut calories and to still let you enjoy what you want to eat without feeling like you're not eating anything that's kind of pizza-esque if that makes sense. So I'm going to get into the little tutorial, well it's not really a tutorial, into the recipe now and if you've made this don't forget to let me know um, in the comments and send me pictures on Instagram and Twitter if you've made it, let me see what yours came out like because I'd love to see and I will see you all in my next video. So sorry if you can hear noise, I'm going to talk louder because I've got the washing machine on, I didn't think this through. But in terms of ingredients what you're going to need is one averagely large courgette, some tomato puree, half a red onion onion, some low fat fresh mozzarella cheese, it could be the pre-grated one but I just prefer this, and some oregano. Now I'm going to show you how to chop the courgette and dice the onion very finely and get on to the next So part. now all the chopping is done and as you can see I've diced the onion really finely, the finer it is the kind of more easy it is to control and the courgettes I have just sliced in half and then stood it up and sliced it like this. So you just get these kind of even slices and they make it really easy to put it on and they're not too flimsy and when you get the kind of outer parts just make sure they're not too thick as well and they cook really quickly they're really really great i know a lot of people like to do them lengthwise i prefer doing it this way i just feel like it's easier I've got a bit of onion on my finger there um i think it's easier so i'm just going to show you how to arrange them on the train i think now and at this point before you were chopping it um not before you're chopping it, it doesn't really matter, it doesn't take long, but just heat your grill a little bit onto about 190 to 200 and then we're going to put everything So I've got these on a pizza tray with some tin foil just because I couldn't be bothered to wash the tray that I would normally use. But what you want to do is spray a little bit of olive oil, if you haven't got a spray you could just rub a little bit, but spray a little bit of olive oil onto the sheet place the courgettes then spray a little bit more on top and I just seasoned them with some salt and pepper and I'm going to just pop them into the grill and basically what you're trying to achieve is for them to just go a little bit um, soft and get a little bit of colour. They don't want to be totally cooked, they don't want to be golden and you will need to kind of turn them over halfway through but I'll show you what they look like um, once they come out. This can really vary, depends on your oven. I normally put them in there for about 10 to 15 minutes and they're kind of cooked and get a little bit of colour and that's the yummiest and something really amazing happens to courgettes when you roast them they get this really sweet intense lovely flavor so you can see here that they have softened I've had them in for about 15 minutes they're totally cooked some have got a little bit more color than others but I didn't want those to get burnt and this is what always happens it's just depends on how seedy they are in the middle if that makes sense so you've got them all laid out now and now what I'm gonna do is spread some tomato puree on them um, and then sprinkle a little bit for oregano you need to do this with a small knife and do it quite carefully like you don't get it everywhere but doing it on the pan is just easier and it saves you having to get them off and put them back on so it? I've gone ahead and done all of the onion and topped them with the mozzarella you don't need a lot of mozzarella this is actually more than I would normally put just because I had a kind of a, that big sort of size and it was going to expire t tomorrow so I didn't want to just waste it so I topped it with that but normally you could use a really small amount of cheese and I'm just going to put this back in the oven you really really need to watch it all you want to do is for the cheese to go melty and slightly crispy and then get them out otherwise you will burn them and this is what the finished product looks like so you can see the cheese is melted I don't like it too crispy I still like it to have a bit of gooeyness it feels more indulgent and I've just got a little bit of lettuce here and there you go super easy low in calories and absolutely delicious. Don't forget to tweet me or Instagram me a picture if you've made this and I hope you enjoy it.